Hello friends, this is Aman Khan. I'm from Hyper Realty. I just wanted to uh, uh, give some kind of uh, advice to all of you. Uh, when you're going out for, to purchase a house, right? Sometimes people get very emotional. Sometimes people get like, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, personal. And just make sure that, uh, that's why you hire an agent, right? You just make sure that you get the advice, very professional advice from your, your own agent. Sometimes you're going to purchase a house and listing price suppose is a 500,000, but you're asking your agent to put just 450,000. But your you know, agent is saying, no, this is not the right price at, you know, for the offer, right? So you just want to make sure why not? Then agent should share the listing price to sell price in the past, last two months, three months. What was the price was sold recently, okay? So make sure that you, whenever you're going to purchase a house, make sure that you put yourself as a seller not as a buyer, okay? Then you can make a right decision, okay? It's not necessarily you're going to uh, responding to the, to the listing price, okay? And you are considering your own factors, okay? So just make sure and you, you talk to the agent. You talk to the, you know, you ask agent advice, what kind of price you should, you should put on the, on the offer, okay? And based on the, all the factors. Be realistic in your expectation. You just purchasing a townhouse, you should not expect the, all the facilities and all the you know things inside the house like a, like a detached house, right? And same thing if you are purchasing a detached house, you should not expect like you know all the things like you know mentioned. So just make sure that you should have the right uh, right expectation. Depend what kind of property you are purchasing, okay? And use the middleman to save your time and insider information. Who is middleman? Middleman is your real estate agent. So that's why it's very important. If you wanna just get away from the emotion, get away from the personal thinking and you know, thoughts process, just make sure that you always hire a professional agent. You will make sure that you are, you are not getting involved in those kind of things, okay? And get the prof professional advice from them. Ask a lot of questions. There's nothing wrong asking questions. You should have your own homework as well before you go out and meet the agent, okay? and make sure that you interview agents. The main goal is to get the house settled, the big things. Before getting into the detail, don't be rude with, with a seller. No seller will like it, the rude behavior. Maybe you're paying 5,000 more, but you're rude. Maybe somebody else is paying 5,000 less, but he's very good, excellent person, very nice. So just make sure that you know uh, the seller is always prefer that you know the guy who's a, a, you know can who's really uh, his, his talking and you know his, his understanding is, is really positive and constructive. So make sure that you always go through the do's and don't uh, list of those things what you should uh, consider before you uh, go out for the purchasing a house. Okay, guys, just give me a call without any hesitation. We can for the free consultation. And with, uh, now at my office, like you know, I said, it's 15, there is a 15 location. You can always reach me out anywhere you want, okay? Thanks, have a good one.